Quý vị đang theo dõi tạp chí đầu tư giáo dục và ngay bây giờ là chuyên mục học cái gì và học ở đâu. Quý vị đang theo dõi chuyên mục học cái gì và học ở đâu. Hôm nay xin mời quý vị cùng chúng tôi tìm hiểu về chương trình học thạc sĩ kế toán tài chính quản trị do trường Đại học Mở Thành phố Hồ Chí Minh và Đại học Kinh tế Luật Berlin cùng liên kết đào tạo. Và đến tham gia buổi trò chuyện hôm nay sẽ là giáo sư Renner Giám đốc chương trình liên kết đào tạo thạc sĩ kế toán tài chính quản trị Việt Đức. Hello, Dr. Renner. Welcome to the show. Hello, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, well, first of all, let me ask you um, the first question. Tell me a little bit about the program that you are running at the Open University. Uh, the program started. We started the program in 2010, 2011. In that in that period of time, we developed the program. It was a lot of time, we did it carefully, we thought before uh, which program to, to establish here. Most programs uh, offered by foreign universities mm -hmm. are, are banking, finance related at that time and, and we decided not to go with the mainstream and instead of that um, establish an accounting program. <laughs> okay. So the, the reason for that is just uh, to keep it very short in a nutshell. Uh, if you want to develop an economy, uh -huh. this is what Vietnam certainly wants to develop, you need a sound financial system. And right. To have a sound financial system, uh, you don't need not only banks and, and financial institutions, you need information because the financial system is basically relying on information. Hmm. If you have no information, you will never have a financial system. And if you have another, not a financial system, you may never have a real economy working very right. well. So. Well, is your program targeting the people who are currently working or somebody else? That's a good question. Both. 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 So if you, it depends on what you're doing. If you are working as an auditor or in, as an accounting consultant or so, Uh, then you may prepare for the professional uh, examination at the end to become a CPA. Mm -hmm. If you want to become a CPA, you need to, uh, you need to know that kind of accounting knowledge. Uh, so if you're working in a management already, you must not necessarily know everything about accounting. This is also to provide say, a general manager with the necessary accounting tools. Yeah. Well, we never know everything. We always learn, right? We learn, always. <laughs> Okay, uh, when people decide to go for an MBA, normally they go into Amer American schools, right? Yeah. Because it's more practical. And <laughs> German school is more like about what? I, I think basically it's a misunderstanding of MBA concept. The mm -hmm. MBA concept means this is more general uh, management knowledge. It, it, uh, it's, it addressed to people who must not know too much about business administration. Mm -hmm. If you were an engineer and you find yourself in a CEO position, uh, you may ask for some basic business knowledge. This is MBA. Mm -hmm. So MBA, say from a, from a theoretical point of view, is, it's relatively flat. Right. It's broad. <laughs> you will be able after uh, to, to use the terms you need to use, but you don't need uh, to know everything about accounting or Uh, say logistics or uh, finance, you you will be educated to become a general manager. This is MBA and, and MA, what we offer is MA in a postgraduate way is a bit more. It's also conceptually oriented. It's not, it's not too theory loaded, but it's also theory loaded. It's not only, um, I, I know this, that, that we are, that people often complain that Europe is thinking too much theoretically while the U.S. are more practically oriented. And I, and I say, so the, the, best, the best way to have a sound practice is to have a good theory. Well, regarding the, um, regarding the um, requirements of the program, mm -hmm. so what is your advice for candidates? So we do have formal requirements, of course. We require a bachelor degree a four-year Vietnamese bachelor degree, mm -hmm. counts for 180 credit points. It's okay. our credit point system. Uh, we require, as this is a postgraduate program, we require one year professional What about experience. the uh, English level? Good question. English level, formally, uh, you, you may, you may um, we, are, we are happy with an IELTS 6.0. 6.0. So, This is not decisive because we, we invite all the candidates shortlisted to have an interview. Mm -hmm. uh, decisive is the question whether we can have conversation in English or not. Well, uh, tell us more about the uh, curriculum of the program. 
Yeah, it's a, the curriculum is, is a, we are often criticized for that in Germany because the, the workload is very heavy. Mm -hmm. Compared to other program on a master's level, it's very heavy and we, uh, that has something to do with the, um, with that character. It's, it belongs to a transnational education program. We are exporting something from Germany. Also, all the lectures are being exported. So we cannot provide so many electives. We, we need to fix uh, our program. Mm -hmm. So and then make it, make it become a, a, a very accounting focused program. So in, in short, we, we provide fundamental courses uh, referring to data analysis, statistics, econometrics, mm -hmm. uh, to know technically how to handle uh, numerical information in a mm -hmm. proper way. Uh, secondly, it's uh, an introduction to international corporate finance. Mm -hmm. Then we add four core modules, two in managerial accounting and two in financial accounting, to the external, to the internal side. Mm -hmm. And we complete that set by two electives, and the two electives are either referring to macroeconomic environmental conditions, like right. um, how to develop a financial system, uh, does corruption mm, affect uh, efficient resource allocation or not, as an example, or uh, micro uh, applied microeconomics, like decision theory or game theory, to uh, get people qualified to stay in negotiations in a, in mm. a proper way. Uh, that's what we, what we from time to time change. It's a kind of um, elective so, uh, courses. Mm -hmm. uh, also finance is possible, possible if, if many or if, if some, say the majority of, of clients or of candidates ask for, a, for, a, for more financially related education, uh, then we add two more finance courses, hmm. like risk management or uh, international financial. Thank you very much, Dr. You're Brenner. You're welcome. Thank you well, for coming pleasure to for the show. Me. Những thông tin vừa rồi đã khép lại tạp chí đầu tư giáo dục tuần này. Để xem lại những chuyên mục trong tạp chí, quý vị có thể truy cập trang web của chúng tôi tại fbnc.vn. Tôi là Quang Vinh và hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong chương trình kỳ sau.